Oh my god, things just keep getting more retarded. I'm sorry. If that's a buzzword and it offends people, to hell with that. Because I am starting to get to the place where I just don't give a flip anymore. I really don't. I, I, I feel like I'm living in a massive troll. Like, the people that live in this on this planet are just trolling and they're all in on it. You know, like those mob crowds or those mob dancing people that just all drop all around you or start dancing sporadically and you don't know that they're all in on it until you see them dancing. That's kind of what it feels like here. Because the accusations that some people just keep making for some things, it just makes you wonder, are they really serious? Do they really believe what it is they're saying? Because now there is this thing going around that Alita, the cyborg, is being too sexualized. Okay. <laughs> so in one article by Screen Rant, uh, this person is complaining that Alita is sexualized. I'm only gonna read a, a short section of it, and please forgive me, none of this is scripted, and I, I, I'm, my brain is trying to process right now. It's like, I don't even know how to feel right now. I, I'm trying to keep it together. Okay, so this person that wrote this article says that um, Alita Battle Angel depicts Alita with big eyes and a sexualized ideal, and she puts that in air quotes, type of body because that's how the character looks in the manga. We can presume the movie didn't want to reimagine or redesign the character in any way, and the filmmakers went to great lengths to bring Alita's uniquely large eyes to life. However, the movie never explicitly explains why Alita's eyes are so big. Um, first of all, before I continue on, the eyes are big because you want to tell the cyborgs apart from the humans. Notice that when, is his name Hugh, her boyfriend, the human guy, first sees her, he looks at her face and sees her eyes are large, and he's like, oh, you're a cyborg, I didn't know. So that's possibly something in world that they use to differentiate robots or cyborgs from human beings. Second of all, I think the choice to do that is not just because it's based on the manga, but also because of the uncanny valley that they're trying to avoid. I think making her eyes big helped them avoid the uncanny valley because she looks very real in her motions and the details in her face and skin. So people would more so accept something when it doesn't look eerily too human, but you can tell that it's not. That's why the big eyes were done that way. Also, she's the main character. I mean, do you not do you not understand how film works? Like, I'm sorry, but this is these these are just very simple, trivial details that certain people who are in this line of work are supposed to know the reasoning behind why some people will choose this. It's the same reason why they made Disney characters have big eyes like that as well, because they want people to see them as likable, approachable, relatable. They want the expressions to be easily seen on screen. I shouldn't have to explain this to this person. Anyways, whew, let me calm down. All right, okay, let's continue. Guys, I took that nasal spray thing just so I could make this video and not feel like I'm dying from the freaking allergies. And it's not really helping, but I did this just for you guys. So let's continue. She goes on to saying, um, however, the movie never explicitly explains why Alita's eyes are so big, blah, blah, blah. We do see in a flashback that all the other URM root, um, androids had eyes like that. So it's part of their design. But Battle Angel goes to the trouble of explaining why Alita's URM body transforms from how she originally found to a body with large breasts, a small waist, and an overall thin appearance. Okay. After uh, Ido connects Alita's core to the body, it transforms and Nurse Gerhad makes a comment that Tech is conforming to Alita's idea of how she should look. Uh, not to be too TMI, but as someone with double Ds, I don't really see Alita's breasts as being very big, so I don't really know what they're talking about them. Large breasts? Do you know what large breasts are? I live with them every day. They're not large. They're, if you want to see large breasts, look at anime characters and how they were usually portrayed, especially the older ones. Those are large breasts. I do not see what's sexualized about Alita with her breast size here. At most, she looks like the traditional Asian girl body or a young girl's body. I 
I don't even understand why. I, listen, I don't want to get ahead of myself because I'm going to go into everything, but um, the small waist and the overall thin appearance, okay, that's her design type, and they want to identify her as female. Shouldn't you be celebrating that? Because, you know, that's the movement thing, celebrating fe feminine, uh, feminine, can't even say it, I'm so freaking mad right now. Um, but yeah, she also has to be thin. W would you want her to look like a walrus? How would that be conducive for her fighting and being agile against her enemies? It would not. She would be moving around the battlefield like a frickin' kite with all this air resistance if she had that much body fat on her. So I don't really know, I don't really understand what the complaint is here. If they had made her look like a butch man, people would be like, wow, look at them, patriarchy wants to own everything. But they made her look like a woman or a quaint female. How was she sexualized? She doesn't have a big booty and there's no impressions on the front side of her body in the lower end, so... Mm. Continuing on with the article. Rather than implicitly explain Alita's body looks, how it does, because, what? Okay, let me read that again, I'm sorry. Keep it together. Rather than implicitly explain Alita's body looks, and eh, how it does, you mean how, it look, whatever, because it's how the androids were designed, similar to why her eyes are large, Battle Angel plays it off, like this is Alita's own ideal warrior body, one with sexualized proportion. <laughs> and seemingly very little muscle. Sure, we know Alita was likely programmed to believe that, but the way the movie depicts this scene, especially in the context of having established Alita as a free-thinking and rebellious character, having her conform to anyone else's ideal doesn't... That's the sound of me hitting my head. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Um, first of all, I'm sorry. I don't mean this to be personal. It could be anybody who's writing this article and I would still feel the same way. You need to take a chill pill. I don't know. Is this a female that wrote the article? Are you not happy with your own self-image? Because I don't really understand why people are having a problem with her body. Did you start getting those weird feelings down in your nether regions when you saw this cyborg doing her thing? Because I don't think anybody else saw her as sexualized. I think everybody or the majority of people, maybe people that, you know, like to screw objects, they, they're into that. But I think the majority of people that watch this saw her as a badass or, or a hero. They weren't looking like, mm, I like to break me off a piece of those gears. I don't think anyone was thinking that when they watched this. So why are you having an issue with it? She has small breasts. She has a small butt. I think her body is very average. I don't really see that she has a ridiculously tiny waist. It's a normal, average female body type. And she's not really even a girl. She's a, a cyborg? I mean, and God forbid, a woman actually wants to look feminine. Because, you know, biology... Have you seen ninjas and have you seen athletes that run and that fly all over the air and do all these acrobatics? Gym, um, gymnasts, have you seen what their bodies look like? Ballerina dancers, people who are in certain sports, they look like this. They have to be small. They're not bulky and muscular because the kind of acrobatics that they perform during the choreography of how they fight requires them to look like this. The body is very good at adapting to what you do, the activity that you do. If you're someone that lifts oxen and carries them from one side of the farm to the other, then you may look a little bit bulkier. But as a female who fights the way that Alita does, it makes sense why she'd be more lean and not bulky, as it is not biologically natural for a female to bulk up the way a male does. Even if it was a male character, he would still look skinny and he would have pronounced abs and a little bit of muscle and wispy looking the way that she does, the way that ninjas do, because they have to be light on their feet, they have to be agile, and that's the way that Alita fights. So I don't really understand what this freaking person is talking about in this article about her body being somewhat of a fantasy uh, based on her fight style. I think her body is exactly how it should look for the kind of fighting that she does. And I'm sorry, but isn't there some movement going around now where they're cheering on female empowerment and you have a strong lead female-oriented character, because let's be serious, I mean, even if they do have parts for Alita that are like female, she's not traditionally really a female, she's a cyborg, but let's just, you know, near, near, near the herd of there. Um, she is, she does represent females. 
she's a strong female character, and even in the movie, they have her saving the male and doing everything for him and saving the world and being a total badass, yet you find the, the stupidest thing to nitpick about that's supposed to further celebrate her femininity. I just don't... I, 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 wow, I am so flabbergasted right now. I have no idea what to say. I don't even understand like what is going on. I'm not I'm at a loss to what people are complaining about. In the last segment of the uh, of the article, she says to imply that Alita would choose a sexualized ideal, quote unquote, female body type over a more practical, less sexualized one isn't just laughable. It goes against everything established about her character. Wow, you sound like an idiot. Continuing. She's a character who is depicted using her body to fight and isn't ever shown caring much about how it looks. But in the moment of her transformation, all that seems to be thrown out the window simply so the movie can justify making sure that the female, main female has a sexy body. Okay, first of all, she identifies with being a female, okay, because that's how she was programmed. Yeah, maybe so. Same thing with us. We were programmed to be that way. It's called biology. Females are programmed to want to look feminine, to attract mates. Males are programmed to want to look masculine, to attract females. Wow. Blame Mother Nature. Well, look at that. Mother Nature is female. What the frick is your problem? So you're saying that Mother Nature, okay, something that is identified as being female, is an idiot for how she designed things. And I'm not saying I believe that there's an actual entity, female entity that designed this, but when people liken this stuff onto mother nature, you know, they're basically saying, well, yeah, the female is responsible for all of this because she's nurturing and feminine and she made the females this way, take it up with her. But I would think that the reason also why Alita wanted to flesh herself out a little bit like this is because, I don't know, maybe she has the hots for someone who's male and she wants to look female and she wants to look pretty. She could have given herself triple X breast types and, and freaking wide hips, but that, that's not conducive to her battle type. That's not realistic. She made herself look a little bit more female so she can look attractive. And I don't see why that is an issue. I mean, it's very funny. You know what I find very ironic? A lot of these women who are making these complaints, and I'm sorry if this offends some people, not really, but they tend to be very upset with their own self-image. They tend to be people who have these horrible insecurities and dangerously low self-esteem to the point where they see anybody with any drop of confidence or health, they take offense to it because it makes them feel uncomfortable. But yet those same people will read stuff like Fifty Shades of Grey and salivate over people that look like Thor. Just saying, I think it a bit hypocritical. I don't think anything is wrong with Alita. I don't think anything is sexualized about Alita. That's not what I was thinking about. Obviously, that's what you were thinking about because you probably were feeling all hot and bothered when you were watching her on screen. But I don't think most people thought that. And even if males are attracted to Alita... Let's just say they she they they do it so well that oh I can forget this is a cyborg and I'd date her I'd smash okay what does it matter with that males are biologically designed to go after the female body type the reason why we are uh, designed or, or I don't want to say designed like you know there's actual thing that put us together but the reason why we evolved to be like that you know bacteria don't have that problem because they don't have tiny waists and stuff they all look the same but we are mammals and we're designed to look for males to mate with. We cannot make babies on our own as females, and males cannot make babies without a female. So wouldn't it make sense that nature evolves in such a way so the males and the females are easily identifiable, respectively, so that a male can readily say that, wow, that's a female. Let me invest my time into pursuing her so we can mate and make babies. And the same thing with a female. What what sense would it make if a female looked like a male and a male looked like a female? It, 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 I Look, everybody's entitled to love who they want to love, all right? I'm not trying to police anybody's idea of who they should love. That's a completely different conversation. That's not the conversation I'm having here. The idea is that there is a female character who likes a male character. And I'm sorry, but that is the norm. It is the norm because that is what is required for humans or mammals to procreate. So don't sue me, sue science. That is the way that, that, that nature works. So it is not a problem for a female to look at a man with abs 
and the tight butt and broad shoulders and say, wow, he has good genes. It's not even that we do it consciously. We do it very unconsciously. And we say, he has good genes. Mm, he's strong and has those big muscles. He can protect. He can protect and attack and respect and all that other foolishness. And the male to look at us and say, wow, she has nice, you know, lapitopitas on her chest. She can feed a lot of babies and she has a nice hip ratio, you know, hip to torso ratio, which means mm, she can, she won't have a problem uh, pushing out my babies. She looks very fertile because the, when a woman is fertile, she produces a lot of estrogen, which augments those features on the woman body. I don't know why people are so angry at science, but I don't even know what to say. You're getting mad at something for the way it is. It's like looking at the moon and saying, wow, moon, you offend me for glowing so damn bright. You're too white. I don't like you, moon. The moon is still there. It's not going to matter how you feel about it. It's what it is. So, Jesus, I'm so sorry, you guys. I swear I'm not like this in person. I'm a really nice and happy person. Um, but when I see stuff like this, and people being attacked. And, you know, if you want to talk about body shaming, this should be body shaming. Being shamed for a body that you naturally have, that you're supposed to have, that is body shaming. If a female is healthy and looks feminine, why wouldn't you celebrate her being feminine? You were this whole th pushing for female power. Isn't this contradictory? The way that you're behaving is so contradictory to the cause that you're trying to support and push on other people. You're like, oh, more females and lead lead uh, roles and more femininity and more female power. But then when there's actually one, you're like, we don't like it. It's too female. What the frick do you people want? Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. I have to go. 